Good morning guys, so for today's video, I will be having a summary session of chapter 3, the network protocols and communication. So let's start. Chapter 3, network protocols and communication. Data networks are a system of end device, intermediary devices, and the data media connecting them. For communication to occur, this device must know how to communicate. This device must comply with communication rules and protocols. TCP IP is example of protocol suit. For protocols are created by standard organizations such as the IETF or IETP. This Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineering is a professional organization for those in the electrical engineering and electronic fields. ISO the International Organization for Standardization is the world's largest de developer international standard for a wide variety of products and services. The most widely used in networking models are the I I OSI and TCP IP models. Associating the protocols that send the rules of data communication with the different layers of this model is useful in determining which devices and services are applied at a specific point as data passes across lands and one. Data that, data that passes down to the stack of the IOS model is segmented <coughs> into pieces and is encapsulated which addresses an other level. The process is revised as the pieces are encapsulated and passed up to the destination part of our stack. The IOS model and describe the process of encoding, form, formatting, segmenting, and encapsulating data transmission over the network. The TCP IP protocol suit is an open standard protocol that has been endorsed by the networking industry and ratified or approved by standard organization. The Internet Protocol suit is a suit of protocols required to meeting and receiving information using the internet. Protocol data units PDU are named according to the protocols of TCP, IP suit, data segment, packet, frame, and bits. Applying model allows individual companies and trade associations to analyze current network and plan the network of the future. So, flow con control is a method can be used by two computers to ensure the packets are not dropped because too much data is being sent to the two. Broadcast communication is one of the all communication, unicast communication is a one of the communication. Multicast is one of the many communication where the message is delivered to a specific group of hosts. All cast is not standard term to describe message delivery. Encapsulation is the process of placing one message for format into another message format. An example in how a packet is placed in it is entirely into the data field it is encapsulated into frame. HTTP governs the way that web server and client interact. TCP manages individual conversation between web server and client. IP is responsible for delivering across the best path to destination internet takes the packet from IP and form formats it into transmission. Network Protocols are implemented in hardware, software, or both. They interact with each other within different layers of protocol stack. Protocols have nothing to do with the installation of another equipment. Network protocols. Network protocols are required to exchange inf information between source and destination device in both local and remote networks. TCP IP Internet Layers provides the same function as the OSI network layer. The transport layer of both the TCP and IP and OSI model provide the same function. The TCP and IP application layers includes the same function as OSI layer 567. 
standard base product or the neighbor products from this way manufactured to enter operate successfully the standard base protocols enable many manufacturers to implement this protocol it's different manufacturers implement different requirements within the same protocols then their products will not be interoperable dns dhcp and fcp are all application layer protocol in tcp and IP protocols with ARP and PP are network access layer protocols and that is an internet layer protocol in the TCP and IP protocol switch. Proprietary protocols have their definition of operation controlled by one or one company or vendor. Some of them can be used by different organizations with permission for their owner. The TCP and IP protocol switch is an obvious vendor that proprietary proprietary protocol. The advantage of network device implementing open standard protocols is as from the TCP and IP so it's the client and server running different operating system can be communicated with each other. Open standard protocols facility in innovation and competition between vendors and across markets and can be reduced the occurrence of monopolies in the network market. The TCP model contains an application transport, transport, internet, and network access layer. A pipe transfer used the FTP application layer protocol. The data would move from the application layer to all the layers of the model and across the network to the file server. The TCP IP model consists of four layers, application transport, internet, and network access. The IOS model consists of seven layers application. Application, presentation, session, transport, network, data link, and PC type. The top three layers of our OSI model is application, presentation, and session of the application layer of the TCP IP model. Local addresses, also known as IP addresses, are encapsulated at the layer at the network layer, physical address are encapsulated at the data link layer. Port addresses are encapsulated at the transport layer. No addresses are encapsulated at the physical layer. Logical addresses, also known as IP address, are encapsulated at the network layer. Physical addresses are encapsulated at the data layer. Port addresses are encapsulated at the transport layer. No addresses are encapsulated at the physical layer. We receive at the physical layer at the host. The bits are permitted into the frame at the data link layer. <coughs> a packet is the PDU at network layer. A segment is the PDU at transport layer. A file is the data structure that may be or used at the application layer. At the transport layer, a host computer will be encapsulated a segment to reassemble data to an acceptable format by the Application layer protocol of the TCP IP model. <coughs> In order to send data to server B, host A will be generate a packet that contains the IP address of the destination device on the remote network and field that contains the MAC address of the default gate gateway device on the local network. <coughs> When the host needs to send message to another host located on the same network, it can be forwarded the message directly. However, when the host needs to send a message to a remote network, it must use the router also known as the default gateway. This is because the data link frame address of the remote destination host cannot be used directly instead. The IP packet has to be sent to the router default gateway and the router will forward the packet towards its destination. Therefore, the default gateway is incorrectly configured. The host can communicate with the other host on the same network but not with the host on the remote network. <coughs> the default gateway is the IP address of interface of the router on the same network as a sending host. <coughs> the EIA is the International Standard Trade Organization of Electronics Organization. 
It's the best known for its thunder-related electric wiring connector and the 19-inch rock used to mount network equipment. That's all guys. Thank you for watching and hope you like this video and see you again in the next one.